Welcome to Southeast Georgia Health System. Today we are talking about CyberKnife technology. Please join us as we learn more from Dr. Timothy Jamison, Medical Director here at the Cancer Care Centers at Southeast Georgia Health System. It's all coming up next right here on Golden Isles TV. Hi, welcome back to Golden Islands TV. I'm your host, Avery Brooks, and I'm here with Dr. Jameson, and we're talking about CyberKnife technology today. Dr. Jameson, tell us about CyberKnife. Sure, so CyberKnife is a very sophisticated radiation machine that does stereotactic radio surgery, which simply means very high doses of radiation and a small number of treatments. So as opposed to conventional radiation, which is a five treatments a week for many weeks, CyberKnife treats just five treatments or less, so it's all done in a week, one treatment through five. Um, so we, we very precisely hit a target mm -hmm. with very high doses of radiation. We can only do that because it's extremely accurate and tracks motion of tumor. And so we can safely deliver that. So a CyberKnife is a, is a means of delivering very high doses of radiation in a small amount of time with, with the goal of ablating a tumor. Wow, this sounds extremely innovative. Um, and is cyber, this is new technology. The Southeast Georgia Health System just got a new version we, of CyberKnife. We did. So we, January 2011, we got our first CyberKnife. Mm -hmm. um, we have the latest CyberKnife edition now. It just got installed a couple of months ago. It's called the CyberKnife M6. And it's a, <clears throat> it's a tremendous step up from the previous one, which is a great machine. This one's even better. So uh, unlike the other machine, which would shoot out you know, rods of dose, you know, circular dose patterns. This has an actual multi-leaf, which the conventional machine has also. It's kind of a hybrid machine. So we can better treat bigger tumors, and it greatly expands the, uh, the number of cases that we can do. Previously with the other cyber knife, it's great for smaller things. When you get very complex shapes or bigger tumors, we couldn't really treat it effectively on, this, on the old cyber knife. The new cyber knife with the new multi-leaf head, which allows us to greatly expand our size, we can now treat a whole lot of other things that previously we could not. Plus, it's much more efficient. It delivers the same dose as the other machine in half the time. Wow. So that's why you're able to concentrate in just one week of treatment. We, we concentrate in one week because we're sparing normal tissue. I mean, any machine can blow out a lot of dose. But the CyberKnife allows us to give a huge dose to the target while at the same time sparing the normal tissues around you. And you can only do that if you know you're hitting the target and missing the normal structure. So with CyberKnife, we're constantly tracking the tumor and adjusting to its motion. Right. Excellent technology and great for Southeast Georgia Health System and for this entire community. Um, this is the new version, you said, and it's um, somewhat unique in that there aren't many. Tell me about that. How many? Are there? Sure. Um, so there's, there's worldwide, there's only about 250 cyber knives, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. Now, the new M6, there's only probably 30 in the world, um, probably 20 in the United States. So it's, you know, it's just come out in the last year or so. Right. Um, but it's rapidly becoming a, a, a popular option for a lot of cancer centers around the world because of its versatility, its efficacy. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're very excited to have it. Yes, and you mentioned cancer patients. Um, who really would qualify for CyberKnife? Sure, so we, we treat all different types of cancer. We treat some non-cancer things too, like trigeminal neuralgia. But as far as cancer, most prostate cancer uh, patients can have CyberKnife. Mm -hmm. It's currently, we do a lot of low risk and intermediate risk prostate cancer, which are most patients. Um, the data shows about a 95% to 97% cure rate. We now have nine-year published data, so we have long-term data. Wow. Side effects are minimal. The cure rate is extremely high. There's minimal disruption. People can do their normal activities. It's just five half-hour sessions. They're in and out of the hospital, in and out of our department in half an hour. Wow. And we, all they do is lie on the table. The robot moves around shooting at them at very precise patterns, which we plan ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, w within five days, our treatment's done, and a very high rate of cure. 
Wow, that's amazing. Um, so tell me about that as far as the cure rate and also the side effects. So um, it versus traditional or conventional. So any type of radiation of the prostate is going to hit the urethra. Mm -hmm. So most side effects are from irritation of that. Okay. You, you cannot miss it because it's in the middle of the prostate. Mm -hmm. And so maybe some burning when, you, when they urinate, frequency you know, more during the day, getting up more at night, decreased mm -hmm. stream. We put people on Flomax to help with those symptoms. They tend to be very minimal, and most people are back to baseline within a few weeks. And it's not an incapacitating type, it's more of a nuisance type symptom. It fares much more favorably than we used to do a lot of seed implants, has a much higher side effect profile. So with CyberKnife, people can work full time during all, even the week we treat them, they can work. They only have to be here about half an hour. Wow. They can do their normal activities. So it's, it, and we have the second busiest prostate cyber I'm center in the country, in Little Brunswick, Georgia. We treat about uh, 100 patients a year. Is that right? So we've treated about 800 prostate patients, so we're, and we're going to be publishing that in the next several months. Wow. Um, so, and it's also maybe for breast cancer? So, the, so the, <clears throat> historically, we've treated uh, accelerated partial breast irradiation for early stage breast cancer. So women with small tumors, negative lymph nodes, uh, negative margin, some other criteria. And so we have treated those with a catheter where you put a high dose rate wire in there. It's, it's an invasive procedure. We can now treat that on the M6 cyber knife. We just, where we, we shoot the radiation at it completely non-invasively mm -hmm. for once or twice a day for five days and the treatment's done. Mm -hmm. The uh, American Society of Therapeutic Radiation Oncology, which is our society, our, our radiation oncology society, coupled with um, other national guidelines, recently expanded the criteria of who qualifies for that type of treatment. So any woman over 40 with negative margins and small tumor and a couple other criteria can have this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've done uh, about uh, a handful of patients since we opened up the new M6 a couple months ago. People have done very well and the, the published data is excellent. So in the selected patients that qualify for this, it's an excellent treatment choice. Right. They're done in a week. And how do you know if you qualify? You'd have to come see you? Or, right. Right. So <clears throat> you can see me in consultation. We also have an online portal where you can, um, which is particularly important for people who live outside the area because most of the folks who are within the system, we're, we're going to see them by direct referral from their surgeon. For people who live elsewhere, they can log into our website and send a question and then we get back to them. Right. And if they look like they're a fit, then they can have a formal consultation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds pretty easy. Right? Very easy. Yeah, you make it uh, very accessible to everyone. Sure. Mm -hmm. So tell us about, uh, we were talking about how great this is for our whole community and for Southeast Georgia Health System. Um, tell us, how many people do you think actually come from outside of our community for this special technology? Oh, probably about 20% of our patients. Mm -hmm. So we get, a, since it's only a week of treatment, we, we have a very large draw area. Mm -hmm. So people can come here, they get their treatment in a week, and then they, they can, some, a lot of them stay at the Nunley House. Oh, um, right. So it's a you know, free place to stay, it's right next to the center, mm -hmm. they can get their treatment. And then a lot of the follow-up we do uh, you know, digitally, they call in and they send us their films. Mm -hmm. they, they can see us if they need to, but a lot of it's done mm -hmm. you know, with modern communication. Modern technology, <laughs> yeah. The computer, right. right. <laughs> and we treat a lot of lung cancer. That's probably our second biggest treatment. And we're, the hospital has instituted a, a CT screening program for high-risk patients. So if you have a certain smoking history, a uh, certain age, <clears throat> the primary care physicians are ordering CT scans to screen. They used to do chest x-rays to see if you had any nodules. This is much more sensitive. So with these CT scans, we're detecting lung tumors at a very early stage. And when you detect it early, it's highly curable. And so we're, we're cyber knifing these little stage one lung cancers, and that's typically three treatments in conjunction with the lung doctors here. And you know when the patient is breathing, the tumor's moving up and down in various directions with, as the lungs expand. Mm -hmm. And through our technology, the, the cyber knife moves with the tumor as it's firing its beam. And so we're just hitting the tumor and a little bit of margin around it, so we're not damaging the vast majority of the lung. So even people with poor lung function can go through this the very high rate of eliminating the tumor. Wow, this is so great to hear because normally when we talk about um, cancer treatments 
and all that that involves, it's actually um, really hurts the rest of the body as well. Sure. And this is not doing that. That's so. right. So the, the whole premise of delivering a very high dose of the tumor is predicated on missing the rest of the body. Mm -hmm. And so CyberKnife is, by virtue of having a bunch of different beams, typically 100 from all these different angles, from having very precise uh, dose shaping, and by having tracking of tumor motion, we really can eliminate the dose of the vast majority of normal structures. That's great. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And it's all right here at Southeast Georgia Health System. Dr. Jamison, we've talked about so many things with CyberKnife, great technology, so mm -hmm. great to have it here in the community, but there are other benefits as well. Can you talk about those? Sure. Well, of all the different radiation modalities, it's actually the least expensive Is to, right? to deliver because with radiation uh, charges, you know, there's a, a weekly charge for radiation treatment, mm -hmm. and cyber is only one week. Mm -hmm. And so compared to, say, nine weeks of external beam for prostate cancer versus one week with, with, with cyber knife, mm -hmm. it's about two-thirds the cost. Wow. And you take into account other modalities like the protons, it's... 20% of the cost. It's, it's vastly less expensive. Um, you know, the, the proton data is, the published proton data is fine. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not better than the CyberKnife data. Mm -hmm. The CyberKnife, we treat the prostate in one week. Mm -hmm. Side effect profile is better than any other type of radiation treatment. And we have a 95 plus percent cure rate. And so patients who are considering six or seven weeks of proton treatment, the data doesn't bear out the high cost that's, that protons are. And so in this day and age when, when medicine is becoming more and more uh, in tune with cost and efficacy, mm -hmm. CyberKnife is the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. It's the least expensive and it's the most efficacious. And it's the fastest. And so patients really need to know about it. The, the patients who are in our system do, because the urologists and so forth know about the CyberKnife. Patients from a broader area, Jacksonville or other places, they, they need to know that this is available. Um, and they shouldn't just run to the Proton Center. Um, this is, in my opinion, a much better option. It sounds like it's the best of, of, of everything. It really is. Yeah. And even in a public health perspective, mm -hmm. where you're trying to minimize costs, mm -hmm. This, I mean, it, you, you can treat a ton of patients because you're only treating them for a week mm -hmm. efficiently mm -hmm. and in a low-cost manner. Wow. Sounds wonderful. And we're so honored to be here with you. You're the expert, and oh. you're really educating everybody about this new technology right here at Southeast Georgia Health System. Thank you so much for your My time My pleasure. Today. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate it.